Yo, what's good YouTube? I'm here with Edgy, and my last video did pretty decent, but I got a lot of comments saying uh, how to like get through quals and stuff for duos. So we're kind of just going to go over his game plan, his early game, his mid game, his end game, and he kind of IGLs Mero right now, and they're doing pretty decent, pretty good in a lot of the tournaments. And we'll just see how they kind of like maneuver through these qualifier games and whatever. So uh, yeah, what's good? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so off spawn, you land on left side of the map at yeah. the edge. Split. Yep. Okay, so off spawn plan. Basically, just we just drop over the water, can't die out of the air, and we just 50 50 like the top god chest. Yep. And then, so there's a god chest here and like two floor spawns. We usually just 50 50 this, and it's like spawns like all the time. Yep. I win it, kill Sprite. Marrow, we always land it. This is like our backup. We have barrels here, chest. And then we pickaxe down, there's a god chest here, more barrels. And then we just kind of yep. like block this off. So we have like this whole area kind of claimed. That's yep. if we like lose up here, but I have one here. So I'd tell Mero to like claim this just so we have like everything, especially since there's three teams. Yeah. So he's looting, he's like fully on con. I kill that guy. We're fighting right now, Mero trades. I get that guy, I think only a solo, yeah, I have three kills, yeah. only a solo lift here. Basically just land, you kind of land, obviously you don't pull just off, you want to set yourself up stacked for this like, kind of like mid game. Yeah, pretty much just play like top down, it just like height has like the advantage and we also get barrels and just like a lot of floor loot. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So only... never, like in quals you kind of like never pull off your drop or anything like that, you never no. really swerve, like you commit to the 50-50. Yeah, never, we'll never and... swerve to like another spot, but like we have like a backup to land like lower down in the building even if you kind of like loot away you're kind of like you don't get that surge you don't get that off spawn surge yeah uh and i mean you don't get your whole split as well as like you just leave kind of more shambles and stuff like that yeah uh, and like landing yeah. duo here and like fighting like hard and being shambles is definitely better than like landing on con out here like there's just so much loot and like from this we can go to like this castle or there's a gotcha chest here which can give us like yep. minis splashes and then like this team down here, like towards Shattered, is always like they're like always super unaware. Like super yep. early on, we just get like three, two, ones on them. And like uh, up here, Breakwater is kind of harder to fight just because it is so like condensed and like buildings. But like this is like open, we have like more opportunities on the, like the south side of the map. Okay, so off spawn, you kind of just win your 50-50s, play your game out, and then what are your like? What's your thoughts going into mid game? Like, do you try to rotate early? Do you guys like to key more teams? Like, what what are your thoughts on these like qualifier mid games? um with the format with like four kills like we like to play aggro and just kind of like roam around and look for like three two ones but most of the okay, games so are not yeah just like three two one double beams but most of the games aren't like that strict just because they tend to like die out so you don't really yep. have to like rush anything you can kind of like freelance it and just kind of run around and just go for like those like pick kills you don't really need to commit to much that's like yep. risky and obviously like if you commit to a fight mid game and it doesn't pay off and you end up playing that game out with you could be more shambles you could be like anything like that you don't want to like grief your game over a fight yeah. that you don't need like with two days it gives you a lot of like leniency where you just kind of just play consistent you don't need to like drop like 20 yep. bombs or anything so yeah just kind of play res play the bait it's like he obviously needs to do something here uh fast forward a bit he jumps from like my top here or something and then Meryl Khan is like, like, I don't hear him like pulling out a shotgun. He only has like SMG, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he never, yep. you never hear like the cock from the shotgun. So I can just like play super confident with my like, walls. Yeah. You know, box, kill him, free res. So even they're just kind of using your awareness that he doesn't have a shotgun. Yeah, just audio. And Especially just, off spawn. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so audio key is big thing just in those off spawn fights especially four kills and like a lot of the like fighting over here they kind of take yep. our loot so we just kind of have to we just take it slow just loot we can and then just like eat, get ready like when you fight off spawn and like shambles we just like to just like play like full end game but if we like have like yep. no kills off spawn then like we'll play a little bit more aggro sounds like, good especially with those four points i like, killed yeah, like, surge and just like kills just like just make sure like you're just like ready but, yeah i see those guys are running away they don't really know that we're like shams. We just kind of loot what it's unlooted. The only issue with kind of focusing this part of the split is this is this side we don't really get much metal. So we have yep. to kind of find out a way to get metal, which is either like killing someone or just like, min like just maximizing like the most metal we can with like hitting anything that gives metal, even if it's like one. Yeah, this time it was uncon though. Get, like, you can probably max your metal from here, almost max, right? Yeah, I get like 
off the siphon, I probably do max it this time. But generally speaking, I get like 350 to 400. Max metal is like so important going into these end games because you like a lot of the splits on the map. Like even your split, you don't leave with like max metal. Like, in these balls, it's kind of easier to rotate around and grab metal, correct? Yeah. That's like finals. But like maxing your metal associating these balls when everyone goes into these end games so stacked is like super. It's just important. the smallest edge on the game. Yeah. Like everyone yeah. just jams. I think we might have had four casts this game. I'm not sure, but. Obviously, like, with something this could be obvious, like, double pull. It's gonna pull, like, behind Faulty, so he's kinda yep. putting it in as so zone. Line. Again, halfway over the water, you know it's almost always gonna, like, pull down to the water, towards the water or anything like that. So where those two teams are kinda on the bottom right near each other, like, you know it's, like, kinda gonna pull there. Yeah, we just kinda find... Using, like, these trees near Faulty, if we're, like, usually... When we rotate down, like underneath Faulty, it's a lot more like open and like, like these hills kind of hold us off. So we kind of okay. use abuse like this like tree line near like gas station and Faulty, and then once we like get here, then we can like start hammering. But generally, we want to get like as far in as we can before we hammering, just because like you can hear that from like 200 meters away or something. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. This time we don't hammer, but. In I mean, you're already in like a yeah. perfect pot. You're like center second, or almost center second. Um, yeah, just we're chilling. Just, yeah, we're just chilling. I think, uh, I think I asked for the red eye here just because I'm like keyboard and mouse. I just want to get some tags. As much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I'll be able to lobby some people too. Just kind of wait. Like, no noise. This going is on. like, this is like a day one qualifier, and the lobby's already at 50, 50 people. Like, so it just shows, like, everyone's going to be stacked in these games. Like, you want to be as stacked as you can going to these games, and you don't want to, like, kind of grief yourself with a mid-game fight. Or, and, like, we only like, have, like, two like splashes, too. Yeah. And, like, we just need, like, most we can. No noise going on. Pull next. These guys get lobby. We jump in. Marrow gets that kill. Pretty risky for... This is actually Marrow's call to, like, jump in here. Pretty risky, especially in, like, a 48 alive. Yeah, that's lobby. Yeah. But I died, like, super early, so, like... Yeah, there would be like extra mats, it's just all about like, living. Like, we had to fix it. Yeah, wow, really risky, but I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, it gets it pays off. All good. Yeah. So, I mean, when you lobby someone it's, like this, you just want to. Typically, you take it slow, especially yeah. in a dead lobby like this. Like, you don't. You know, all these teams just lobby those kids. Like, you know that if you go there, all those teams are going to lobby you. I in think a sense, you ideally, know? we could wait like. 20 30 seconds if no one's going for it we just we can go for it and like yep. kind of just like even if we get lobbied a little bit there we just overbuild like but their lobby yeah. dies really like the attention's kind of off to you if you kind of wait like everyone is looking at that spot and then if you insta go they're still looking at that spot they're they're in their heads they're debating like can we go get this or are we gonna get lobbied like that you know what i mean you're in a good spot you're like not super center third but you're almost center third enough to where you're you have a free rotation for it um, or anything like that yeah so half pulls uh and you i mean you have double hammer but what are your like initial thoughts to seeing half pull all the way across the map and like what are you kind of like planning for w with double hammer like a rule we've kind of like made is if it does if it pulls like max like if it pulled way out like way over here like full max you can't even like really get close to making it with three hammers so we just what we would want to do if it pulled like way out there is probably play like along this ridge like hammer here or like hammer on like a refarm this is kind of like a bad zone for it probably try to just get somewhere where we can't get lobbied but it's doable to go early and yep. then uh let our hammer recharge and then like our next hammer like we'd be able to go all the way for this one we know we're close enough so like we can get in with a triple hammer like super easily yep. and so we're just kind of like still like messing with these guys, like we're not really too worried about it. So, do you like rotating early to half in this meta or not really? Um, it depends on like it what zone it is, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, like a lot of the times, especially with hammers, like it's so easy to rotate, but depending on like every zone is different for like how much you'll get punished for it. Yeah, I've learned the hard way rotating too early with the hammers this season, especially the not playing for a bit. Yeah. Where if you rotate too early with the hammers, you will die either out of the air or as soon as you land, you're just beamed. Yeah, I think one good thing is like you need to have someone just like scouting and like looking at your map for elevations that are against walls. Like let's say like ha this was like edge half. You get here early, you're not getting lobbied from anyone behind you, and you're the first one here. You can hold like everyone and yep. just get. And like, then you can just hammer late. Yeah. After holding people. And so it's like knowing where you can go four kills, but like that's not lobbyable and like early. Just because like four kills is just such insane. Like for like four points of kill is just so insane. Right here, Marrow kind of gets beamed with the hammer. Yeah. 
be at edge low ground. I know that that's the team that I griefed and they won the hammer, so I'm just kind of like playing. You know they're kind of shambles. Yeah, we, we literally spent the entire time just like hitting them and like, put them the hammer over. I'm like, oh wait, they're next to us. I call for Mara, like we can probably fight these guys. Like, they definitely need something. I can crack him here, he dies. Since they've kind of rotated in so late, they're the ones getting lobbied by everyone like yeah. you guys got in just early enough so where you're kind of not getting lobbied by everyone but it was also like super calculated in a sense that you have double hammer you rotate a little bit early you rotate while everyone's still rotating and they kind of rotate after everyone's rotating and that's kind of why they get lobbied yeah like i think we end up going like at like the second zone starts moving and they what i assume they did is like they went into our boxes for loot which made them just like the latest team i'm not like doing anything to just throw a game just because Obviously, we're like edge half, and I know there's a lot of yep. congestion. And like, if we get cracked or knocked, it's like upgrade thrown game. I'm just kind of okay. scouting. I think Mero sees something down here. I mean, yeah, you have 80 builds and 77 builds. Which is really good. Mero kind of guy. We throw into the safe box. One out the back. We have like a pretty good first move, too. Yep. And wow, Mero picks up a refresh. You guys are stacked. 120, I'm 108. So when you guys double hammer together, like what is your like strategy to hammer? Like do you uh use one person hammer right click or do you like to throw one under the cone and then go like one after another? Usually I think the safest option is just to have someone like go in front of the other and you can kind of like and you can like track them in the air easier that way and like yep. see where they land. And okay. then like while we're in the air, we'll call like two or three or just like one and then like for hammers and then try to like ping where we can land because like a lot of teams like struggle landing together and i feel like if you have that and you're just together everywhere where you land like yep. that's the situation where like the easiest refreshes are right when you land and like a team doesn't know you're there or right when they land and you like go to like go kill for them. their wall so yeah, it's like so... landing being aware making sure no one could kill you and then you're going to like kill someone yeah so what you're saying is like you land together kind of earlier than everybody else and mm -hmm. your main focus is being on each other and going for something together but also being able to pick off people that are kind of landing and kind of not in that super aware position where they're kind of getting their like i don't situated. know what word it. Yeah, like, getting situated uh and you're able to kind of pick them off while they're getting situated or smack on their wall while they're getting situated because you guys are already situated yeah just like focusing okay. on being on the same page and like capitalizing on the people who are like a little less like they don't have as much like chemistry or just like they're not as good of like players and you're just kind of like like scared like like this is yep. one of the most like chaotic metas ever and you can like capitalize on really like really hard so okay, i'm like scouting i see it's like those guys are about a hammer i'm like okay like come to me and then hammer this time i hammered separate just because like mine was like a little bit sketch and so off this first hammer kind of in this moving layer you want to land what what is going through your head like do you want to land elevated do you want to play low ground like, it's first moving you're in the middle of first moving when do you want to use your next hammer when do you want to get ahead and like what is your like first moving plan um right now with like how it's been going like usually just staying ahead is like best you can and either being on a side or just like full low ground is what works best for us okay and then but right here we honestly could have gotten like hammered down a lot and it would have been like super hectic but we got like pretty lucky to be honest that, like no teams kind of ended up landing like tarping underneath us like, yeah this guy went out to the side no one was like down here they all landed front and so like we didn't get grief which is like nice we could just have clear bombs. and another thing you mentioned is like being on a side or on low ground so if you're kind of in that middle of moving zones you are really like susceptible to being uh, yeah, like, hammered down and stuff like that so you mentioned being on a side or on low ground where you kind of can't be hammered down yeah correct? like all, all these people like back here like they'll hammer up like land right here and then like hammer again they could chop out yamzo rise or like even like peaks like people could be landing like on his box and like hammering and stuff but like, yep. on a side like there's no one really like over here these guys are on their own like kind of file like they'll just hammer this way it doesn't bother us yep. and there's kind of like people lurking around but on like the side there's just like i mean you can just see it right here there's, like two three four teams that could possibly like hammer out yams and rise if they like get put in like the wrong spot yeah absolutely. so like your opponents and stuff like that like you don't know what they're gonna be doing uh like around you and stuff like that so you want to kind of position yourself away from anything that could go wrong you're just yeah so like kind of invest your mats 
and what you have to make sure you're both safe uh but also invest your mats to eliminate risk during the end game yeah and pick up this kill i see it pulls yeah. max right here when it pulls max like i want to like instant hammer because like when it pulls max and you're on edge everyone is going to be hammering like yep. i think like if 20 had a hammer we're, we're getting chopped out but i yeah, yeah he, he doesn't he doesn't have one hammer. So like that's honestly lucky for us because like if he literally had a hammer like we get chopped down and then we'll probably like yeah so right there you pick up a refresh obviously and you're kind of weighing the options of grabbing that refresh or going early and a lot of the time like i see people struggle with this they'll go for a refresh when next zone is pulling and oftentimes when you're stacked you kind of shouldn't mm -hmm. and in this case it does pay off for you but just something to note you know yeah. what i mean like sometimes people go for refreshes when it's not necessary or in shitty spots but you're not in such a bad enough spot like even if you had gotten hammered down you're still both stacked you yeah. can kind of get ahead but just working your way together is kind of difficult for you guys and stuff but yeah i mean it works out in the end mm -hmm. i figure like left side is free just stuck to it like the whole time uh, it is it's here and just builds like from it i see these guys like go for refresh marrow calls like kill i didn't have much fun either I mean, perfect. Like you. Okay, so again, you force yourself left side with both we're, of you. You go at the same time. We're left uh, side. We're front, so we don't get hammered down. And then. Yep. Like, and uh, just, just another big thing for me to mention. You went for a refresh as a solo, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's like it up. oftentimes like you got hit 80, and even if you had hit a body shot, like you're not gonna get a refresh there. So it kind of just shows the importance of going for a refresh with your duo on you and obviously like you didn't know you don't know where marrow is like that could be a free kill or something yeah. like that but you guys do a good job communicating that he's not on you and he needs you to chill and you're both stacked enough to the point where you don't really need to force anything so just good comms overall and understanding each other yeah and like, even if i did hit like a solid shot like let's say i had something like 140 150 like it's still just two people and i can die just as easily as i'm killing yep. like that one guy like, hammer again Stay front, but he gets splashes. And then messy match just to tarp. The hammer is like pretty ace. And like second zone, like we still want to stay elevated. And like third zone is where we kind of look for like the wind condition elevation. So I'm kind of like waiting for it to pull for like that last refresh. And like, okay. like if we got this, like that's like 50 builds. That's that could be like the win right there. Yeah, so like at this point in the game, you're kind of stacked enough to the point where you're kind of playing for the win. You know that you're like a winning team in this lobby and you're just kind of looking for another refresh to either, I guess, drop height or drop low or go for height, maybe? Yeah, so like like okay. first zone is usually just like kind of playing it safe, especially with like double hammer, maybe like looking back, killing someone, but like not even necessarily looking for like the kills that would give us the refresh, just like points. And then like second moving is kind of where like people start being so low as people are kind of less on like heels and like it's like more chaotic and like those are the kills where you can like you get it and then you convert it into like either a height take or a low ground take and then you have enough to kind of out mat everyone else and like play for the yep. win condition so getting that last refresh just for that win condition basically yeah so we don't get anything there and we're kind of on the edge i see it pulls far and i know it's like over a river and like okay, we could probably take low we kind of play like a solo hammer here. Yeah, I see low ground. I'm like trying to take it. These guys kind of beat me to it, but I see that like it pulls like for me. So like my elevation technically has high ground even if they're below me. I tell Mero to get on me. I'm gonna just tarp this out. Yep. Perfect. And I mean, you know you have low, you're zero ping. You have also arrows on you. Like, you and I see these guys, I call for Mero, like, I I'm in wood, so I'm, like, making sure Mero is ready to come to me, but still yeah. letting him kind of go for stuff. Nail the cone, yeah. kill that guy. Again, like, right there, though, like, if he goes for something back tarp, most of the time, especially in this meta, it's not going to pay off. Like, yeah. and so right there, you're both front tarp, you're both on each other, and you end up picking a refresh. And it kind of just shows, again, like, I've already stated this, but the importance of staying on each other and going for those things kind of front tarp instead of splitting off and going back to her. Still just playing low. And like this house, like honestly kind of helped us. Like we, like everyone was kind of playing in it. We had like this left side super free. Yep. Then. How many bats does Barrow have right now? He has 70. He's just kind of like hitting another tarp. Then. 
so he tarps another big thing here he tarps all the way in so that if it did pull like across everyone else you guys kind of have that uh side of zone to rotate with and get ahead yeah like if it pulled uh, this way like, like if it pulled towards chance yeah like we ran all the way around it pulls this way we have all of it blocked off and like someone yep. comes in our tarp we go over here we have all that it's claimed and like we just we keep low no matter what and then right here if it pulls like we start tarping out here we just box fight these guys yep and so and like he just takes over and then we just like switch rules he didn't drop mats and i just kind of like look back to the kills and he drops there after we like, were established yeah so it does end up pulling for you pretty much you're just kind of able to build up the game and play low from here yeah and then i right there when i stood still i like pinged where the zone was just so i could see like the elevation in front of me i can see like even though i can see it kind of like from here it's probably like pretty low just in case since it's near the snow i ping it just so i can see visually like in front of me where the elevation is and i know from that that like this is the low ground layer like we don't have to go low or we don't have to go higher yep and so playing when these guys can their wall we play like two different angles he's just holding his gun out here and i yep. take like a side wall and like hunter pump Perfect. I dash in. We get those Holy guys. Fuck. Rick. Yes. And then, obviously, we didn't like full loot them. And then, like, I get tagged there. I'm like, okay, we can stagger. I know Mero has splashes. So we just yeah. kind of play slow. We loot up. The only problem with this is like, if someone took low from you, you're no longer like in that winning position unless you either box fight them or go for height. You know what I mean? So if Rise Niamzo, like you guys did a good yeah. job killing that team, but someone should always like be ahead no matter what. Like instead of popping this big right now, uh, in my opinion, like obviously yeah. not claiming or anything, like you should be getting ahead with those 35 builds. Well, Marrow comes ahead and like he's holding out splashes, he can splash you. You just don't want to give up like that winning uh position especially this late into the game mm -hmm. and then like like right here what my thought process was is we can like tank zone a little bit because he has a splashes yep. full loot i pop this big i'm 100 100 and then we'll be in zone a little bit we just wrap around and just like get in front of them and tank Reclaim with the splashes low. okay so like yeah, yeah, we don't even have to really necessarily good. fight them we just get in front of them and just block them off because we have we just turn the splashes into like a win condition because we did yeah. lose it yep. and we just kind of take it back from our loot but uh after like heals marrow notices like oh wait no we took it and then we kind of take it we were like we claim it back we kill this guy yeah Full loot really, good teamwork. really good teamwork really good teamwork and it's uh it. so at this point in the game it's like three teams you see six alive your whole like what's going through your head here uh right here while i'm just like healing and not doing anything and like marrow's looking I open up my map, I look to see how many teams there are, I see that knock, and then I see that knock, so I'm like, okay, it's two solos. I call him that tomorrow, and I say, like, uh, I, I'm just like, I, I told him just go crazy, just because I, like, I just, like, trusted him with his with yeah. two solos, and, like, I had mats, so I'm like, all right, go crazy, like, like, do Mero shit. Yeah. And then... I mean, most people, most people would be like, you yeah. know, let's, like, myself, like, obviously, like, you know, it's Mero, you can be like, go crazy. Yeah. Uh, for like most of you guys watching or most of the duos you want to like if you see it's two souls you drop on low you play together you finish it out you take them out one by one or something obviously there's a little different yeah. but yeah like and like as they're fighting too like marrow goes up for the hammer while it's still like chaotic and then yep. once he gets like nothing from it really i just tell him like okay drop back down to me it's two solos yep and he's here just kind of playing it out they're both just tanking his own like from this like we're like okay it's like a pretty free win Really, it's just like a well-played game. Good teamwork, good everything. Just win for... For the play out. And then... And we kill him. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, bro.